Now when you come down to the blues, now you just sit here and watch me. Hey VC, it's Chris your Blues Guy. Welcome back to Blues Guy Vinyl. Cheers. So how's it going, eh? Welcome back. Thank you very much for tuning in and joining me here once again today. Um, another terrible day. Freezing cold. Snow. Yuck. Anyway, on with today's video. Uh, this is going to be my contest entry for Roberts on my turntable push to 300 subscriber October themed contest. So if you haven't already subscribed to Robert's channel, please do so. I will post a link to his channel's homepage in the description below. Please head over there, show him some support, enter this contest. $30 uh, Amazon gift card, I believe is the prize. So, hey, you know, who doesn't want to have third? It's, it's like two free albums and you get to pick whatever album you want. So excellent prize, excellent contest. And Robert's got an excellent channel. I, I dig Robert, uh, a fellow Canadian. He's got a really great collection. Recently just expanded his collection exponentially. Expanded exponentially. That's excellent. Stop it. Anyway, um, he just acquired like 300 records or something like that. So uh, he's been going through that. He recently just did his vinyl collection A to Z. Now he's doing his CD collection A to Z. So yeah, check it out. Good stuff. So he has got five questions for this contest, and uh, so without further ado, let's get into this thing here, shall we? Cheers. Question number one, spell October with uh, albums, artist names. Had to cheat a bit here. Uh, I alphabetize my artists by their last name. So, for example, Oscar Peterson would be under P. But for this, I'm cheating and using Oscar for O, Oscar. So, for the letter O for October, Oscar Peterson plays Jimmy McHugh. O for October. For the letter C, James Cotton, terrific blues harmonica player, mighty long time, James Cotton. This is from 1981, Antone's Records. Great guest guitarists on here, Jimmy Vaughn, uh, Matt Guitar Murphy, as well as Hubert Sumlin, the Holland Wolf's guitar player. So, yeah, there you go. The letter C. Uh, the letter T. Going to cheat again. Going with T. T-Bone. T-Bone Walker. This is on uh, ABC Bluesway Funky Town. T-Bone Walker. Sort of a comp of a lot of his greatest hits. Uh, like, for example, Party Girl. And um, uh, Gonna Build Me a Playhouse. Stuff like that. Very good. Again, the letter O, another cheat. On a first name, O. Otis Fan, Crying Time, terrific album, great blues singer, got a lot of feeling to his voice, uh, very deep, sort of gravelly voice, uh, Muddy Waters, former piano player, and he's a terrific piano player at that, Otis Fan, letter O. B, BB, BB King. This is B.B. King Live, and what this album is, is um, a compilation of a bunch of his various live performances through the late 60s, I believe 68, through to uh, mid-70s, 74, 75-ish. B.B. King Live. E. I'm going to go with the Duke, Duke Ellington. And this is the best of Duke Ellington on Pablo. Track listing there. Love Duke Ellington. Speak, speaking of outstanding piano players, the Duke. And lastly, for the letter R in October, Red Bone, Leon Red Bone. This is on the track, Leon Red Bone. 
that iconic album cover. Looney Tunes, Warner Brother Looney Tunes inspired. It's on the Warner label, so hey, why not? Love that cover. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. Spell October. Uh, the second question is um, five to ten albums released in the month of October. So I have got... Set these over here for a sec. All right. So I've got some from uh, October 71 and then 72, I believe. So the first is Johnny Winter um, and. This is Johnny Winter and. It was released in October of 71, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Can't read it. Too tiny. Uh, Led Zeppelin 3. All seen that, all familiar with that. All should own that, I'm sure. Uh, ten years after rock and roll music to the world. I think this is from '72, if I am not mistaken. Stevie Wonder, talking book. Outstanding album. Love Stevie Wonder. Santana. Caravanserai. Another outstanding album. October 72 as well, I believe. Maybe 73. So yeah, love these Santana. So yeah, there you go. Uh, question number three, five to 10 uh, labels, album labels that have sort of the fall or autumn colors of the leaves. So red, yellow, orange, etc., etc. Cheers, excuse me. I'm gonna whet my whistle. So for this, I thought I'd show some uh, 45 RPM seven-inch singles. I don't show those often, so I start off with the iconic red uh, Atlantic label. Get that out of there. There we go. The Atlantic red. Uh, this is an orange Duke label, Bobby Blue Bland, on that orange Duke. This is Billy Paul, me and Mrs. Jones. Sort of a golden brown. It looks kind of olive green here, but it's because it's, it's sort of got a slight shimmer to it. It's sort of a golden metallic brown looking. There we go. Another orange label. This is Flashback Records, Elmore James, standing at the crossroads. Backed by... Uh, so back by Sky's Crime, classic. Very cool label, flashback label, the lightning bolts and stuff on there, very neat. Kind of a deep sort of maroon, burgundy sort of wine colored red. This is Brooke Benton on the Coalition album. It's got some yellow on there as well, obviously. Nice bright yellow Stax Records, this is Johnny Taylor. Iconic Stacks. Another Elmore James. Uh, this is, I believe, uh, Orange Kent label. Orange and White Kent. And lastly, one more sort of a red label here. This is another iconic label, especially in the blues. Our Huli label. It's a red and black. Our Huli. So yeah, there you go. Some autumn leaf colored labels. Uh, and uh, so then lastly, or no, second to last question for 
is five to ten albums with scary themes or monsters or spooky stuff on the cover. Um, I had a bit of a trouble with this one. I don't have a lot of stuff that's got sort of scary or spooky or monster type images, but I think I did all right. I started off here with uh, showed some Santana earlier. Earlier, show another Santana. This one's kind of kind of freaky too. with some kind of scary looking I don't know space alien mummy looking thing. Some kind of mummified space zombie thing, wizard thing. I don't know, kind of creepy. Beautiful album cover though, as always the case with Santana. Very psychedelic looking too, but yeah, definitely that thing there is kind of creepy and spooky. Spooky space monster. Um. Monster themed in the sense that, you know, you've got beasts and uh, demonic themed stuff. Uh, Kiss, rock and roll over. So you've got sort of a beastie cat there, and then of course the demon beast with uh, Gene Simmons. I think that works. This guy's spooky. I mean, just the look on his face, but then when you hear him sing, Extra spooky. Screaming Jay Hawkins. This is uh, Screaming Jay Hawkins of the singles, 54 to 57. Have a look on his face. Look at that expression. That's not spooky. I don't know what is. And on the back, with the skull. Screaming Jay Hawkins. Fantastic voice on that guy. Very powerful. He took blues shouting to the extreme. Uh, Dr. John the Night Tripper Grigri, kind of his voodoo inspired themed album. And Dr. John looking very much like a voodoo zombie on that picture there. Pretty creepy looking. There you go, Dr. John the Night Tripper. Ooh. And lastly, for monsters, creatures, spooky stuff on the cover. Uh, this is Paul Horn. I've shown this one before. A sort of a demonic creature. I mean, again, beautiful artwork on that. Beautifully stylized, but uh, yeah, definitely a demonic monster or creature of some kind. Uh... <laughs> so, yep. There you go. Question four. Scary themed monsters on the cover. And uh, question number five, the last question, what is the goal for your channel? Well, for me, the goal hasn't really changed since day one, really. It's just to share my passion for the blues with uh, everyone and anyone out there who's willing to uh, join me for the ride. Um, that's why I named the channel Blues Guy Vinyl as a tribute to um, a, a former owner of a local record store here in Calgary, Recordland. Um, his name was Armand, who's since retired, and his sons and grandsons run the record store now. But uh, I used to come in and buy old blues records, and he used to, he started calling me Blues Guy. Hey, you really like these old blues records, huh, Blues Guy? And um, that's it, is I really like these old blues records. That pretty much sums it up. Um, you know, I've always loved the blues since I was a kid. Uh, my parents, to some extent, loved the blues and R&B and soul and funk. Uh, my uncle Michel, who was in a blues psych band in the 60s, uh, loved the blues as well, obviously. Uh, I've got a cousin, Michael, who's in a blues band in Quebec. So it's, it's in my blood, it's in my veins, it's in my DNA. Uh, my granddaddy played country blues harmonica and played spirituals in church as well with this harmonica. So uh, this, these are the types of things that I grew up with and was surrounded with all my life. And it's uh, part of who I am. And uh, it's part of what one of my biggest passions in life is, is the blues. And I just uh, wanted to share that with, uh, like I said, anybody and, and anyone who's willing to, to uh, sit down and watch me, uh, this idiot up here in Canada, as I pontificate and ramble on about the blues so yeah uh, you know I like to have fun with it and um, I'm certainly no expert this is just uh, my experience through you know uh, 35 plus years of collecting uh, blues music so uh, yeah there you go 
So um, once again, I want to thank Robert from Robert's On My Turntable for hosting this contest. And uh, again, please head over there, uh, show him some support, subscribe, enter the contest. I believe it's uh, October 31st is the draw, I think. So I'm kind of pretty close here, but uh, yeah, still have a lot of time. Head on over there. So that's going to do it today for your Blue Sky. Thank you very much as always. So don't forget, do all the things, the YouTube things. Keep digging, keep spinning, and we'll talk to all of you again real soon. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Cheers.